Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to describe what's meant by trophic levels. You should then be able to describe how decomposers break down dead plant or animal matter. And all of this is for triple biology students only. In a recent video we saw that food chains show us the feeding relationships in an ecosystem. Remember that almost all food chains start with a plant or an algae. These make their own food by photosynthesis, and scientists call these producers. Herbivores are animals that eat plants or algae. Scientists call these primary consumers. Carnivores that eat herbivores are called secondary consumers. And remember that a carnivore is an animal that eats another animal. Now in this food chain you can see that the secondary consumer is then eaten by a tertiary consumer. A tertiary consumer is a carnivore that eats other carnivores. Now scientists call these positions on a food chain trophic levels, and the word trophic means feeding. So the producers are trophic level 1. Primary consumers are trophic level 2. Secondary consumers are trophic level 3 and tertiary consumers are trophic level 4. OK, now I'm showing you here a number of different animals, and these are all predators. As we saw before, a predator is a consumer that kills and eats other animals. Now all of these predators have got one thing in common, and that is that they've got no predators themselves. In other words, no animals kills and eats these animals. Scientists call these apex predators. Apex predators are carnivores with no predators. Now, one really important part of any ecosystem are the decomposers. As we've seen, decomposers break down dead plants and animals, as well as waste products such as faeces. By breaking down dead remains and waste products, decomposers return mineral ions back to the soil. Now, in order to carry out this breakdown, decomposers secrete enzymes into the environment, and the word secrete means release. The enzymes digest the dead materials, and the small, soluble food molecules then diffuse back into the decomposer. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on trophic levels in my Vision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above.